All right, Shalom, I'm another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But God, so people here for bear, man. I was just sitting back, just got off work. I was just thinking, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for quickening me. For waking me up to this truth, man, I was dead. I was celebrating the cousins of the heathens. I was, I was, I was, I was acting. I was in a heathenistic state of mind. You got two type of Gentiles. You got the Israelites that's in a Gentile state of mind, meaning you got the Israelites that are practicing the customs of these heathens, and you got the natural Gentiles. I was in a Gentile state of mind, practicing all the cousins of the heathens, smoking. Eating abominable foods, you you name it, man. And I would, I just got out work, and I was just sitting here, just thinking, yeah, how about Shemel Shah for quickening me through the spirit, man, waking me up to my nationality, teaching me wrong from right according to the Bible. And I got a couple of scriptures, and the Lord willing, the elect, I'll be edified, man. I, I was I was moved in the spirit just a few minutes ago, just thinking about it. I mean, we think about it, you know what I'm saying, all the time, but then sometimes you just really think about it, and it hits you hard, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, man, from time to time. How dead we were. Like we see two thirds of our people dead is on no way. That used to be us, man. That used to be us, man. Now we have been quicker, man. Brothers used to sell drugs, game bang, you, you name it, man. Still, lie all the time. Mess with other men's women. We, we did it all, man. Celebrating Christmas, thanks stealing. Our birthdays, we was into that heavy, man. You know, club and all that other nonsense, man. Worshiping different deities. Some of us were, was worshiping Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, and all the other nonsense. But now we haven't been quickened through the Spirit, man. I don't want to get that. St. John chapter 6. Now we live through Lord Yahweh Shai. We live and Lord willing, the music ain't too loud. Got some instrumentals on the back. Lord willing, it ain't too loud. As soon as this phone act like it got some sense, all of a sudden it froze up. Bear with me. Come on now. St. John chapter 6, verse 63. Because I was going into, um, I had to restart it. I was going into how, like, we, we was dead. You know what I'm saying? All of us was dead at one time. The Lord, look, we, we lost our nationality and everything. And I'm going to bring that out too. This is on St. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So what quicken us? What the word quicken means to make alive, right? What, what made us live again? It's so like it for my face being all in the camera so hard. What, what made us live again? What quicken us? This word, man. Once again, St. John 6, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, the words, Israel. What, what made us live again? The words, man. And look, look. And remember, the, um, the word was made flesh. And, and who's the word? Lord Yahweh Shai, what are you going to call it? Jesus, right? You see? We live through Lord Yahweh Shai, but then you got Israelites not want to acknowledge our Lord and Savior, man. Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers. Oh, something's wrong with the majority of our people, right? It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words, the words that I'm reading right now, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So we live through these words, man. Because we was dead at one time, man. The Lord took our nationality from us, took our heritage. I want to I bring that out, too. Let's go to Jeremiah. Quick little lesson through the Spirit. Lord, one of the elect is edified, man. I just want to do something right quick before it get dark. It get dark as hell nowadays at 5 o'clock, man. And it's already 4.53, so I'm, I'm going to have to wrap this up in a few. This is um, Jeremiah 17. Because this word made us live, right? Because we was dead, right? Dead in sin, right? This is Jeremiah 17. And four, let me click on it. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse four. And it reads, and thou, even thyself. It's talking to Jeremiah. And when, it was, and when this was written, Jeremiah knew who he was. You know, when this, when this right here was written, Jeremiah knew who he was, right? So it says, and this is um, a reincarnation scripture too. And thou, Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. So all of us were dead. Jeremiah even came back. Jeremiah is here right about now on the earth. Now he knows who he is according to the Bible. But even Jeremiah discontinued from his heritage. 
He stopped calling himself an Israelite. He was being called a so-called Negro Latino and every American Indian was Jeremiah was of the Southern Kingdom. So he'd probably be labeled a so-called Negro. You know what I'm saying? You know, so um, so-called black, if you will. He discontinued from his heritage, man. This was all part of the curses, right? We was dead, man. Look, now we have been made alive. The word has quickened us again. And two-thirds of our people are being judged right about now. I just want to show this right quick. Look at two-thirds. Being judged. Two-thirds being judged right about now. This is what happens. You see, this is just part of the curses, man. Part of the curse is Israel, but let's go back to the lesson. Jeremiah 17 and 4, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So Jeremiah is here in America, serving his enemies, serving sleaze to eat. Esau eat them, just like the rest of us, right? In the land which we knew of not. It says, um, For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever, and the word ever just mean a, um, a period of time, not forever, ever, 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 because the Lord is showing us mercy right about now by giving us his word. Look, be, being quickened again, being quickened again. Let's go back to St. John. I got a couple of scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. I ain't going to be able to make this a long lesson anyway because it's getting pretty dark fast. I just got off. I want to do something through the Spirit. The St. John chapter 5. St. John chapter 5, verse 25, and it reads, bear with me. Look, um, no, St. John chapter 5, verse 25, and it reads, verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead, spiritually dead, listen, when the dead, the Israelites, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High, and they that hear shall live, man. Sp we we're spiritually dead. We heard the voice of the Lord. And how does the Lord speak? Who's the voice of the Lord? The prophets. The prophets, man. We heard the prophets speaking his word. And now we're starting to live. I got to read that again. This is a powerful scripture, Israel. St. John 5, 25. Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, the hour is come, coming, and now is, when the dead, the Israelites, you know what I'm saying? It's in a Gentile state of mind. It's dead to the nationality. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High, and they that hear shall live, man. We live through these words. Remember, we have been quickened. This word has quickened us. Remember that, Israel? The flesh profits of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And I'm, I'm going to come right back to this. I just want to prove what it's talking about. Because remember, it says the dead shall hear and live. Let's just prove what that's talking about right quick. Let's get this revelation right quick. Revelation chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, and their dead bodies, spiritually dead. Remember, the dead shall hear and live. How can a dead person hear and live? No, it's talking about spiritually dead. The Israelites, they were spiritually dead. Us. Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is America. Dead bodies meaning dead spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Dead spiritually and mentally, not physically. Not knowing their nationality, not knowing who their creator is. That, that was us at one point in time. And that's the majority of the Israelites walking around them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, a.k.a. America, Babylon. Look, look, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. That's America. Spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. You know what Sodom was known for? You know what I'm saying? Abominations. You know what I'm saying? Um, man with man, woman with woman. Um, necrophilia, zoophilia, all that, man. And Egypt, you know, Egypt represents bondage, right? Where also our Lord was crucified. Now, our Lord most definitely wasn't, um, didn't get killed over here. But when it says crucified, it means X'd out. They whitewashed this image, man. They put up an image of, of a pale face man. You know what I'm saying? And our Lord and Savior was a man of color, dark skinned man, right? This is heavy. Where also our Lord was crucified, man. So, so you understand what I read in um, St. John, the fifth chapter, verse 25? You see what it's talking about when it's talking about dead? It's talking about dead spiritually, man. So let's go back. I'm going to go right back. Let's go back to St. John. I'm going to read that one more time. 
St. John 5. St. John 5 and 25. St. John chapter 5, verse 25, and it reads, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead, the Israelites that were spiritually dead, us, shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High. And how is that happening? Through the prophets, right? And they that hear shall live. Remember what the scriptures say, um, my sheep hear my voice, right? You can read that. What is it? Um, this St. John 2. My sheep hear my voice. I forgot exactly what that said, but brothers can put it in the comment board if they want to. I think it's, um, I, I'll, see, I'll see if I can get it. It says, um, for as the father have life in himself, so hath he given to the son to have life in himself. It says, and have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the son of the most high. So the point being, we have been quickened. We have been made alive through this word. We, we hear now. You see? Let me see, let's see if I can get that. In fact, is it on? Um, it might have been St. John too. I think it was St. John. I think it was back in St. John again. Let's go back there. I think it was the 14th chapter. St. John 14. St. John chapter 14. Verse 6, listen to this. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Look, 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 man. Yahweh Shah, who they even call Jesus. Look, man, that, that's the most important thing about this whole thing of ours is Lord Yahweh Shah, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Uh, especially Lord Yahweh Shah. That's our Savior. That's who slew his blood. Hey, look, his blood got slew for us, man. Let's get this. Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. How do we live through the Lord? No man coming unto the Father but by me. So we live through the Son, man. The only way we can worship the Heavenly Father is through His Son anyway. The, the Lord said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. And I want to get this right quick. St. John 4. 1 John, Salakia. 1 first, first John chapter 4, verse 9. Let's see. Listen to this. So how important the Lord is, man. First John chapter 4, verse 9. And this was manifested the love of the Most High Yahweh towards us. Because that the Most High Yahweh sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Did, did you hear that, Israel? That we might live through him, man. The, the only reason why we're alive is because of Lord Yahweh Shai. The only reason why the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are still on the face of the earth is because of Lord Yahweh Shai. Let's read that again. 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. And this was manifested the love of the Most High towards us. This is how much the Heavenly Father cared about the nation of Israel. Because that Yahweh sent his only begotten Son into the world. That he that look, that we might live through him. So, so what makes us live? What quickened us? The Lord, man. Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Remember, the Lord quickeneth who we want to quicken. The Lord make alive who we want to make live. Come on, man. You, you can't take Lord Yahweh Shai out of the equation, man. It's, it's all about Lord Yahweh Shai. You know? Let's see, oh yeah, let's go, let's go back. Still in still in 1 John, the fifth chapter. Still in 1 John, the fifth chapter, like I said before, I'm going to wrap this up. It's getting pretty dark. I was just sitting here just thinking as soon as I got off how truly blessed we are. This is um, 1 John 5, let's see, is this what I want? I, listen to this, man. Oh, man. Let's see. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 11. And this is the record that the Most High have given to us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. You see, we gain access to eternal life through the only begotten Son, Israel. But then you got Israelites talking about some Lord Yahweh Shai and just a regular spirit. He doesn't need to be worshipped. Are, are, are you sick in the head? Read that again. And this is the record that the Most High Yahweh have given to us eternal life. The Hebrew Israelites, right? And this life is in his son. He that have the son have life. And he that have not the son of the most high 
have not life, man. Man. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name. Oh, oh, here, here we go. Here we go. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of the Most High. Lord Yahweh Shai. He saves. He delivers. That ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of the Most High, man. So look, man. Only way we can gain access to eternal life is through the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, Lord Yahweh Shai. Remember, we was dead. Lord Yahweh Shai quickened us, man. You see? Lord Yahweh Shai quickened us, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's get that Proverbs right quick. Like I said before, Lord, one of the elect was edified. I was just sitting here just thinking. I just got out of work. And I was just thinking about how truly blessed we are, man. You see? How truly blessed we are, Israel. The Lord quickened us. We was dead as hell. Set up, walking around with, you no know saying, um, rabbit ears. Walking around with cr Christmas hats. Light bulbs on your shirts. The whole shebang, man. You see? Uh, walking around T-H-R-U-U-U. Through, man. Uh, Proverbs 21 and 16. Let's click on it. Proverbs 21 and 16 and it reads, the man or the woman, the Israelite, the Israelite man or woman that wanted out of the way of understanding, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. Okay? And the dead represents these other nations, man, because they wasn't given the word, right? So once again, the Israelites that are walking around without this knowledge, they're considered dead, man. Remember, and their dead body shall lie in this, the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Remember that? This is another precept. Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. And, and Yahweh Shai, and Lord Yahweh Shai, who they can call Jesus, he's not coming back to save black people, Latino people, so-called Native American Indian people. No, he's coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. Whether you believe it or not, whether, whether you believe it or not, it really don't even matter at the end of the day. And I just want, I mean, I got plenty of other scriptures. Seek ye the Lord and ye may live, that ye may live. I mean, I got plenty of other scriptures I could bring out. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a point right there, you know. Just want to do a little quick little lesson through the Spirit. And you have, but you know, I'll bring, I bring out one more, though. This one meant to be a long lesson. I was just saying, just think I truly bless. Look, Israel, we're, we're truly blessed beyond measure. Just, just know that, Israel. We're, we're truly blessed. Look at two-thirds of our people and look at us right about now. We used to be like them, man. And the elect is still in that two-thirds state of mind. The Lord's going to quicken them in due time. Every man in his perspective order. This is on Colossians chapter 1. This is my last one. Colossians chapter 1. Um, Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. And it reads, Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, man, you see, so Lord, yeah, I wish I got us out of that dark state, man. You see, we was in darkness, man. We was living in darkness at one time. Now we're the children of the light. Now we're, we're not of the night. We're, we're of the day, man. You see, let's see. Matter of fact, let me go up one. Let me go up one. Um, twelve. This is on Colossians chapter one, verse twelve. Giving thanks unto the Father which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, which are the saints of the Israelites, who have delivered us from the power of darkness through his son and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Because the kingdom of heaven, which will be played out on earth, is really the kingdom of Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? And Lord willing, we'll be joint heirs with the man when he comes. Just, just thank for Israel. Look, look, Israel, thank the Lord. Thank, thank the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh, for sending His only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, man. We have been quickened through this word, man. It's, tr it's truly a blessing. We go through our day to day, you know what I'm saying, events and things of that nature, our ups, our downs, our rounds and rounds, our highs, our lows, but we still got to be thankful. We're, we're still blessed above measure, man. You see? In, look, in captivity, Israel, in captivity, we're truly still blessed, man. But ain't gonna be the dead horse, man. We, we live, man. We have been quickened through the word. That's what I'm gonna call it. We have been quickened through the word. And Lord willing, the elect is edified. I wanna give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem.
Yahweh Shai, Bo Hashim Kapodash, Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops with great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bear. Quickened by the word, Shalom.